Hello and welcome back everyone to Mountain Blade. So we are still down in the Reach Lands at the moment. I have played quite a lot since last time and also learned a lot since last time. I've been uh I've spent a lot of time in higher garden training and then I went out and traveled a bit and came back down. Well we've been doing a few fights and one of the probably the biggest things I figured out is how to make money. So we actually do have some money now. But I have figured out how to make money in a pretty good way, at least the best way I know at the moment of farming it. And it is, uh, we might be able to show you at some point, show you guys how to do it. But what there is, is around the map, there's herds of animals running around. Like I noticed, I saw it before up in the Stormlands that there's like boars running around. But down here, there's loads of different like herds of deer, and you can just hunt the deer, and they give you. Uh, if I can click the right stuff, they give you venison and hide, and it sells for like like hide sells for two hundred and seventeen. It's actually more than that. Venison sells for like a hundred and something right now, uh, as as well, but. I have some that's rotten, so it's not going to do us much. But we are going to head over to Old Town because in this episode I want to look at the boats a bit and see how much we actually need to get a boat. Because have, not having a boat is one of the things that's holding us back a little bit. And we need one to be able to sail the on the ocean to get to any islands and such like that, like Dragonstone, or if we want to go to Essos or the Iron Islands. We're going to need a boat. So, let us head down to Old Town. Uh, I'm not too bothered about fighting these guys right now. I do have a, I do have a little army as well. Well, not really an army, but a little group of guys who are kind of trained up. They would last kind of a little bit in a fight. They're not perfect, though. Um, we want, let me trade really quick. But the venison, the venison's not going to sell for anything because it's rotten, but there you go, that sells for 230. The price does drop quite, quite quickly, but you can just run around and there we go, look, we're making a thousand gold just from that little bit. And like each deer you, you kill, actually I'm not sure the ratio of it. I think each deer you kill, you get one venison, one hide. I think. Unless there is like a certain ratio, maybe that's different, but I, I don't know what the ratio is. But it's still a good way to farm it. But let us look at the boats, ships. That's what we're going to be needing. Uh, this is a galley. It costs 23,000 stags. Repair is 3,000 stags. And it crews 31 men. So our quest that we're on, I think we needed 50 men. I think he, we needed 10,000 gold and 50 men, I think. So we need a boat that can at least carry 50 men. Preferably, we want to carry more than that. That would be the best option. This one holds 90, but it costs nearly 60,000. This would be like the best, but that's a lot of money. That's a lot, of, a lot of money. Oh, there's only, there's only two boats here. Okay, we might have to go to a different city and look. So sixty thousand for actually, there's some other stuff I want to do here. Sixty thousand, that's a lot. That's got that'll take a long time for the farm, a really long time. I wanna check out the citadel. Oh, looks nice in here. Um, hello. Greetings, sir. If you have anything to say, please make it quick. I'm halfway through the annals of the Black Centaur, and I'd rather like to get it finished. I would like to learn how to read. Oh. Oh, this is where we can learn how to read? It looks you up and down. I'm not sure you have the correct how to say demeanor. 2,500 to learn how to read. 
what benefits do we get from reading? Like, I, I know you can read, you can buy and read books. But I'm trying to think that it might, there could be any other benefits from it. I'm sure, if there is. Do we want to pay? That's great, we'll do it. We'll just... We'll, we'll pay for it. He starts teaching us to read. Now remember what you have learned. Keep practicing and come back and see me in a week. I think then you will be ready for your next lesson. Okay, so we have to come back in a week's time. I have to remember that. Is this it? Is there nowhere else you can go? Supposed to be the Citadel. It's just a normal maester. That was a bit... I was kind of expecting like... A huge place. Like it actually looks on the show or something. But... I guess not. Actually... I want to head to the inn. You know? No, we haven't been to the inn. See, see if there's anyone here. Little sword captain. The barrister sell me. Talk to you in a second, Sir Barristan. Also, I want to flip a coin. Alright, how much money do you want to lose? Wow, you can gamble big. Heads. Oh, you can't. Oh, damn it. I, I, went, mm, I guess you can only do it once a day or something. I want to try and do it over and over again to try and work out the uh, like possibility of it landing on heads and tails. But I guess there's no way of doing that. What else is here? Bounties. You reckon yourself a bounty hunter, eh? I have something for you to help a lawless villain known as Drake. Supposedly murdered someone. Bounties 300 silver. He is possibly at Rose Road. Sure, if we can do that, why not? I want to buy my guys some ale as well. Oh, cool. So, Barristan, hello. Hail and well met, sir. I'm Sir Barristan Selmy. Some call me Barristan the Bold. I served Robert in Kingsguard and Council. Also served the Kingslayer. Okay. I might be serving in Kingsland still if the vile boy upon the Iron Throne didn't cast me aside. It changed me to admit, but when he took the cloak of the White Bull had draped upon my shoulders and sent me a sent men to kill me that self same day it was as though he ripped us but ah so Brazen sell me yes I've heard us I've heard much about you valiant and honorable as any man so I've been told if you would have me join your service, I'd be glad to assist you while I find out who it is I'm looking for. I've heard rumors of, t of a Targar uh, Targaryen girl across the narrow sea gathering an army. Maybe that's where we should be headed. Fortunately, I can't take you into my party. Oh yeah, we haven't got enough men. Oh well, we probably don't have enough money any uh, money anyway to get him. I need as much money as I can get right now. We need a boat. Uh, oh yeah, where is Rose Road? Oh, it's not too far. Okay, yeah. We can go there. Damn it, I didn't see these guys. And their mounts reach sergeants, so they're pretty tough. I'm going to pay you to go away, please. Yes. I don't want to fight a bunch of heavy armoured knights. 
So, thank you. Not today. Someone else to go fight. Bandit leader. That's a weird group of outlaws. Whatever. Oh look, a deer herd. There we go. So, I'm guessing this is like... If it's like the normal bounty hunting quest you get in Warband, then the guy's just going to be standing around somewhere. Interesting settlement. It's actually got walls. I'm quite impressed with this mod in how many features it has and how many things it has just to make the world seem more alive like children and a guy riding on a horse it does very good with that oh here we go who's this guy here iron man iron man what's iron man doing here Why's he got Greyjoy armor? Uh. Oh, I guess it's the guy. Hello. You need to die. Oh, God. What you get for not wearing a helmet? I need to get a helmet, actually. I got rid of mine. I don't like wearing a helmet, but in this game, you kind of need one. Well, that was easy. I guess we return to the innkeeper. Everything has a price. God damn it. Your life. Are these guys actually want to fight? Not sure. I don't want to get up on the hill. I don't have any archers right now. I thought I had some. Hmm. Still get up on the hill. It'll give us somewhat of a little advantage. There is a horse coming at us. Can I make them... Where's the one to get put them into like lines advanced formations on the battlefield rank shield wall I put them into a shield wall that'd be good oh shield wall do it don't spread out Guys, horses are a tank. Oh, we've got a sh nice old shield hall. Oh god. In oh yeah, look at this. Rip your head off. That was cool. We have to use shield wall a lot more often. dead that's not too bad we nearly went down though oh, that one hit to the head nearly got us
Alright, we're, we're not going to be able to catch him, so we'll just chill around. Oh, actually, yeah, I forgot. Another good way of making money is prisoners. Prisoners are a very good way of making money. Counter a small child dressed in rags and looking for... I can't actually see that word, that's there. I see hungry, but not the other word. Um, he walks up to you and begs for some food. 600, so, uh, get out of here, you can have 100. 600, goddamn. Look at that. You ain't getting 600 from me. Not from me. The actual... Oh, he's not here anymore. Bounty. Yes, I did it. I'm not actually going to accept the money, because... 300 isn't really a lot of money. It's not. Not in this mod. Like, that is... It's not a lot of money. Not at all. I think... I benefit more from gain a little bit of reputation then I'll do that money who are you? uh sure drink oh we did this competition before I think we lost lost again damn it I want to flip another coin with you. Let's do a hundred heads. Fuck. God damn. I went for the risk and we lost. Right, anyway, let's get out of here. Right. Let's get out of these lands. Um, there's actually a place I want to go to because... I actually, between... At the end of last episode, I actually went and made peace with the Westerlands. Because having a, such a big kingdom in the center of the map. Having that kingdom be hostile towards you is really annoying. It makes things very hard when getting to the south and north. So it just makes it so much easier for me if I just had peace with them. So I just went and gave them 2,000 like gold and had peace. It was that little bit of money is much worth the less hassle and grief I'm going to get from their armies. And now I can actually go to their castle. Like I can actually go to King's Landing now without it being a hostile place. So yeah. We're going to go to King's Landing. Save it here. Where'd she get there? Go around. Oh yeah, I turned the uh, the rest feature back on. See how it actually is. Like the fact that my army needs to rest every now and then. If I don't like it, I'm going to turn it back off. I hate these robber knights. 
They're going to catch me. I think I just need to pay them off. Oh, no, they're scared. Go to Tumbleton. Oh, God, there's two of them. Your money These... or your life. These Robin Knights are so overpowered with their speed. Like, at least three here are just going to catch me. Actually, if these three want to fight, I'll fucking fire them. Wait, are they following your me? Your money then? or your life. We can take out three of them. If we can't, I'm going to be very disappointed. Where are they? Oh, they're coming. Good thing there are trees. I don't know why they came to fight me. So, Riverland Footman, I'll take them. Keep going. I'm gonna wait for this group to go away. Yes. Make a run for King's Landing and pray that we don't get stopped again. Oh god, that's... They scared me. In a huge army of them. Sell the stuff we have really quick. Let us head to the inn first. Always the inn. Doesn't seem to be anyone of importance. Damn it, we lost again. Keep keep my party morale going up. Pain. Well, we can look at the uh, ships here, though. First ship, 19 men. No, that's not going to do us any good. Because this one holds 90. That costs 44,000. This could be an option for us. Oh, well, this carries 70. 31,000. This condition's bad though. Hey, speed is 10 knots. What was the other one? 16 knots, and the condition's very good. And only for like an extra, what, 10,000? Yeah. And the repair costs cheaper. Might save up for this one. This seems like quite a good choice. Good condition. 16 knots of speed, which is the highest here. 90 men and an, a, an, an achievable price, I guess. That might be the boat that we get. What else can we do in King's Landing? Any, any other cool stuff? Other activities? There was a lot of stuff. Sing for an hour. Make some money. We get reputation.
Let's head to the Alchemist Guild. I concern myself with making of this substance and other fire related materials. What matters? The substance? Yes, yes, the substance. Others may call it wildfire, but we pyromancers call it the substance. How do I obtain wildfire? Well, my friend, due to its, uh, let's say, volatile nature, only the king himself has instructed me to create such magic for him. We were reading an old sailor's pro proverb, piss on wildfire and your cock gets burned off. wonder how we do get wildfire then. Doesn't seem to be here. Great Sept of Baylor. Oh, see this is cool. This is kind of what I expected the Citadel to kind of be when I went into it, like having this big custom uh, building with like all the cool bookshelves and all stuff like that being like completely huge. But this is really cool. Having all the different statues. They're kind of hard to see because they haven't got much texture to them. But you can see, you can probably make out the different gods quite easily still. Oh, over here. Hello, sir. Hello. Hi, Septon. Good day, my lord. I see in your eyes that you are a pious soul. I am, actually. I do follow the, the faith of the seven. I must atone for the sins of my past. Come, my child, he smiles pleased. Our, gods, our God is one of forgiveness and acceptance, not of revenge. I'm here to help you, but you also must help the Sept. Mind, I must pray for your soul, but you must make a donation of 300. Place his hands on your shoulders. I also can preach in your name. And let all in the land know of your faith to the Seven and its purity and holiness. But you must... Fund my travels and cost a thousand. We'll just do the. We'll do that. We'll ask for his blessing. 300 stacks for a little bit of reputation and morale. Bad. Goes to the brothel. Daisy. Daisy. Other whores. Oh, she's actually naked. But oh, damn. Levies. Hello. Raise the morale of my men. Maybe we can find a room. Oh, so I can sleep with them or I can get my men some whores. The army, I'm no longer a youth, my love. And I usually and I, and I am usually very tired after but one customer. So I'll find some friends to play with your soldiers. It'll cost you fifty fifteen hundred. No way. Get out of here. I ain't paying for you, you whores. Maybe I'll come back later for my own time, but not for my men. They don't they, my men don't get the whores. No, no, no. He goes to the Red Keep. Oh, this is pretty cool looking. Oh, the textures are a little bit weird. Looks very nice, though. The Eris Oak Car. Preston Greenfield, Lord Varys, the Grand Maester, Boris, Boris Blau, and a more Osmond Kettleblack. 
Baelish, Hound, the King, Brenna Slint, Jamie Lannister. Hello. She's telling us his backstory. I don't really care. Who are you? You're just a bard. Grand Maester? Hello. He just seems like a normal Maester. The Grand Maester of the Citadel here in King's Landing. I've studied, I've mastered the studies of the higher mysteries, you know, not a lot of uh, maces can boast about that. Uh, I guess. Oh, actually, I'll keep going. A man of your stature must serve many kings. Oh, I can tell you that there is, n there is to know about kings. I can tell you all there is to know about kings. The thing you've got to understand about kings is, for the past 67 years, I've known truly known more kings than any other man alive. They're complicated men, but I know how to serve them. Yes, and keep on serving them. Eris Targaryen, of all the thousands of... ...were... ...away, consumed by dreams of fire and blood. Robert Baratheon was a different animal. I'd say the man goes through life with his battle with his uh now I serve a new king may the gods bless his reign but I sense true greatness on the horizon for our new king oh yeah sure okay whatever Lord Varys well met, uh, well met very traveller I'm Lord Varys I serve here in King's Landing the master of whispers of the small council very perspective of you. Sir, yes, I'm the Master of Whispers and an advisor to the King. I serve whoever sits on the Iron Throne. Who at this moment in his time happens to be King Joffrey Baratheon. Now what business do you have here in King's Landing? Uh, I do not disclose my secrets to just anyone. No need. Westeros is filled with my little birds. That's whisper me secrets, my friend. Something you should do wise to remember. Is there anything I can do for you, Lord Varys? Well, it's not every day I find a man seeking to earn my favour. Very few would be of mind. The king would offer lands and titles for the heads of his enemies. Lord Baelish would offer... Or pr pr proffer? Proffer? I guess that's just meant to be offer. Offer coin for those who work on his behalf. Many a lord, and indeed many a king, would offer much of the same. But me? Why, I have only the reward of my friendship. If that's no use to you, then I bid you good day. Friendship to the greatest spy master in all lands is nothing to squander. If you offer it, Lord Varys. Yes. We'll see. Well, you're so eager to please me. I do happen to have a small errand to run. An urgent, or an agent of mine in Dawn is due to deliver to me a report of certain goings on. Normally I would send one of my usual little helpers, but you seem ready for the journey right now. Make your way to Sunspear and introduce yourself to everyone you meet as a merchant selling happy dreams. My agent will greet you with a request for sad memories. You'll be going to, you'll be given a roll of paper with a coded message, which you to deliver to me with haste. I trust you after the task. It shall be done. New quest the messenger. <laughs> okay. Well, that's an actual quest we can do. Every quest now, kind of, we have, that's actually the first quest we've actually been able to do. 
can't do Winter's Coming. So we need to actually we could probably try Winter's Coming, but I'm still not sure how many men we might need for it. That's the thing. Old Valeria we need to be able to have at least 50 men. Where is that? Um must make sure oh yeah, we need a boat to go to Stannis Baratheon. And yeah, so Lord Varys needs us to go to Sunspear. We can do that. We can do that right now. But when I say right now, I mean in the next episode because this one is going to be going to an end, I think. It's a good way to end it. Uh, so, yeah, next time we'll be heading down to Dawn, back down to Dawn, and uh, to Sunspear to see where this quest will take us. But, like always, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and thank you very much for watching with me. And I hope to see you guys again next time.